What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Yodi Slay here bringing you episode 4 of my Borderlands 2 unique weapons guide. Today I have a unique pistol for you guys known as the Gwent's Head. Now in my case, is the React Gwent's Head. In your case, the prefix of this gun may change, but it will be some variation of the Gwent's Head. Now a couple days ago on Twitter, I tweeted out asking you guys what unique I should set out and show you, and this was by far the most requested gun out of the bunch, so I figured I would show you guys this today. Now this gun is going to be found in the dust, but it's going to differ from a lot of guns in the game and the fact that it's not going to be a mission reward nor is it going to be a drop from a specific enemy i'll explain here in just a little bit how this thing works but you're going to see me get it from this location here as you can see ella's garage up at the top right hand corner you're going to want to work your way down here to the bennett's camp within the red circle and work your way down the mountain you'll find a little box and hopefully the gun will be there well hopefully the box will be there because if the box isn't there the gun isn't there um but little did i know when i was recording this drop and actually trying to get this gun there's actually four other spawns within in the dust that this gun can spawn and from what the wiki says a hundred percent of the time the gun will actually be there at some point like somewhere in the map okay so i'm gonna read from the wiki now just so we get this out of the way and you guys can get to hear these other drops um but it says gwen's head is a unique machine pistol manufactured by doll the special weapon effects is in the red text sticking outside the box it has the increased burst fire projectile count fires a seven round burst when zoomed plus 38 percent critical hit damage now the drop guide, this is where we're going to hear these other locations, it says this weapon can only be found in a cardboard box that spawns in random locations throughout the dust. A box containing the gun will always spawn upon entering the dust in one of the five locations. Inside Ellis, number one, inside Ellis workshop, when entering through the right side door on the right side. Number two, outside Ellis workshop, follow the cliff to the left and it should be somewhere. Number three, in the goose's roost, jump jump into it walk to the right side and follow the path of the houses along built alongside the cliff going down at the very end of the winding path there is a house number four behind the new use station on the dust train platform going to lynchwood facing away from the exit towards lynchwood located to the left number five next to the power pole just north of the gas station building containing the slot machine now we got ours uh, as you can see there in the goose's roost obviously here we're looking at some gameplay for this and i think it's a beastly little pistol man i'm not joking with this critical hit damage it does does some work i actually put the b shield on here just a little bit so you guys can see with that bonus samp damage but notes for this it says when found handsome jack sends an echo message oh what's in the box the box containing the gun is also contains a woman's skull. This weapon can be found every time the dust is entered. Well, I already told you that. Now, Gwent's head, had only, Gwent's head can only spawn with a TDR grip. Now, trivia, this gun and the echo message are references to the movie 7, in which one of the main characters is presented a cardboard box considered containing his wife's severed head so if you did not know this is actually the easter egg to the movie seven with brad pitt i think morgan freeman i don't know it's like made back in the 90s but it's actually an easter egg along with that movie now as you can see with the gameplay here when you get criticals with this gun it kills almost everything and i've got the i've got the sham shield on um, imagine this with a B shield somewhere where you weren't going to be injured. You know, this thing would just completely destroy. So guys, there is the Gwen's head episode four of my unique weapon series. I hope I, it's pretty early in the morning, man. I just woke up. You may be able to tell from my voice. I hope I explained that good enough for you guys. Whenever I was trying to get this and I only knew of that one location, you could find it. I got two different variations in about six tries. So it was pretty common in that spot. And most people that told me where it was located actually told me about that specific spot I used. So if you look on getting the Gwen's head, guys, I hope you enjoyed episode four. I'm going to have another one of these bad boys out tonight with one of my favorite uniques I've ever found. And I will talk to you guys later. Have a good day.